Yo, what's up guys? We got Poe Game here. Today we have another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Wi-Fi battle. This time we're playing Champion Brayden from uh, TikTok. If you guys didn't know, they have a lot of followers on TikTok and they upload some pretty pretty cool clips. I was actually checking some of them out. Um, this Kecleon clip was actually the sickest one, but if you guys want to check them out, their link is down below. Also, guys, if you're new to the channel, I upload Pokemon content daily, two to three videos, at least at the moment. So, if you guys do enjoy, feel free to subscribe to me as well. Um, yeah, my end of next year goal is 300k, and I'm uploading a lot of Pokemon, so if you like it, feel free to. But, uh, yeah, let me, um, oh, they did the battle. They walked right up to me and, like, let's battle. <laughs> But leave a like if you guys enjoy this. Uh, we're doing kind of a mixed thing. So I have three OUs, three UUs. Um, my OUs on the team are Magnezone, Weavile, and Gliscor because I'm tired of when I ask for fun games. People bring like Scizor, Latios, and stuff like that, and Breloom. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to be, we're going to have three Pokemon to deal with that. Shout out to RTSK, by the way. And also Ryan, who passed me the Pokemon. We're going to have three Pokemon to deal with that. And then we're going to have three other Pokemon that I want to use. So three other Pokemon are Shell Smash Blastoise, which is something that people ask me to use. Uh, on special defensive and pull down because I like this Pokemon a lot. Also, a lot of yours check. And then Scarf Heracross because it's a brand new man, so it's Sleep Talk. So I, I feel pretty prepared. And there is the Kecleon. Oh, I'm so honored that I get to fight the Kecleon. That is so cool. I am very honored. They're pretty weak to Shell Smash Blastoise, especially if I can get up rocks. Uh, Gliscor Walls, Jolteon, and Infernape, Skun Tank, the Tangrowth is there. What can I Shell Smash on? Hmm. Maybe Skuntank, or maybe even Aerodactyl, depending. It could be a random Scarf. Let me tell them to have fun. Have fun. I'm going to take a screenshot. I'm going to take a screenshot of the team. You guys are going to hear a sound. That's Push, by the way. Some people said, what do you have, a Nintendo computer? No, that is Push. <laughs> anyway, a few things. I kind of like Gliscor. I like its ability to... Um, just get its toxic or activated immediately. Actually, do I like that? Yeah, I do. Now I know Kecleon has the uh, the ice beam. Cause just like people watch my videos, like I said, I watch other people's stuff too. So I checked out some of the clips and like, and there was it, I just saw this really cool clip of Kecleon like one v one in three Pokemon. So I was like, oh that's oh there it is, there it is. They're gonna try and do it to me. I'm gonna get kecked. Nah, so like I said, it has Ice Beam. Now, if they fake me out, it's actually better for me. I'm always going for a U-turn. Um, I would love to be faked out here. Perfect. So I get my Toxic Orb activated before going for a U-turn. Oh my god, there's a lot. <laughs> so I get my Toxic Orb activated. This is going to help me switch into uh, Jolteon better. I'm going to go for a U-turn here. I know Ice Beam is a, a thing that my opponent carries on this guy. And this U-turn chip is actually very important too because it means that Weavile can knock them out. So I don't want them drain punching, expecting me to go out to like Empoleon or something. So I'm gonna go Heracross here. I'm gonna go Heracross because my opponent's team does not really have a fighting switch in. There's the Ice Beam. Let's see if we get frozen. Kecleon's so cool. I think it's such a cool Pokemon. You know what? I'm actually going to Mega Horn here just in case they go hard Tangrowth because that's their only Pokemon that could potentially come in on fighting type attacks. Yep, there's Tangrowth. Let's see how much we do. Ooh, we do some big damage. We do some big damage. So what I want to do is um, they have two Pokemon that can come in on this. They have Aerodactyl and they have Infernape. I'm going to make the Gliscor play because I want to U-turn out. And basically, I just want to get up rocks. If I get up rocks, I think that I can win with Shell Smash Blastoise. So I don't think they... Th this also covers if they go for Sleep Powder here. Predicting a miss. Yeah, they do switch. So there's the Infernape. Now, they cannot knock me out with anything, um, but they may overheat. Either way, I'm going for U-turn now. We're going to keep up offensive momentum. Yeah, they switch. Awesome. Maybe they're nasty plot. So, again, I'm just trying to keep up offensive momentum here. I really, 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 really want Stealth Rock up. But at the same time, I think by going out into Empoleon, I can safely click Ice Beam. I'm pretty sure I can safely click Ice Beam. Ice Beam should definitely be able to knock out this Tangrowth. Uh, 
I think. You know what? I'm going for Stalled Rocker. Even if they sleep powder me, that's fine. Yeah, because I think you might go Jolteon as well. I know they're switching a lot, but they don't they don't want to lose mods. But I got up rocks, which is exactly what I wanted. And there is the Kecker. The Kecker is a threat. Don't get me wrong. The Kecker is a threat. But we got up rocks, which is what we wanted. I need a little bit more damage on Kecleon because fake out into Sucker Punch is a threat. I'm just gonna make the Heracross play. This is fun. Let's see if they Drain Punch or Fake Out. They do Drain Punch immediately. Nice. I have to be very careful about this guy, man. This Mon right here, bro. And it, the fact that it's getting recovery. Oh, and they crit me too. Look, little cat go. So them being Fighting type. Uh, we'll just click Close Combat here. I'm not going to predict. I can't. They may go Stun Tank, they might go Aerodactyl on them, like predicting Megahorn, but yeah, Tangrowth is a good mid-ground regardless, just because it always has Regenerator. So that's a good play. But yeah, I'm happy we have Rocks up now, so now we can actually pressure some switches. Oh, that did a lot of damage too. That did a lot of damage. That did a lot of damage, a ton. But I need more damage on Kecleon, which is a giant threat, man. We're gonna go Glide Score here just in case they want to sleep powder. And again, I can U-turn again. This also works if they double to Skun Tank. That Kecleon, man, that Kecleon is annoying. <laughs> I love it. But also with Stealth Rock up, I shard KO's Aerodactyl for my Weavile, so we have some good spots here. There's their Giga Drain, yep. Does not do much. Honestly, does not do much. And I just went out to this Pokemon just in case they had Sleep Powder. I just wanted to avoid it if I could. Alright, so we're going to U-turn again. I like how this, this battle is a lot of uh, U-turning around and switching and doubles. But we're just going to U-turn here. Keep up offensive momentum there. And uh, I think Empoleon is my best play. And Polio is definitely my best play, I feel. As they do go for Leech Seed. So, I suppose they might go for Sleep Powder here. But I feel like if I go for Ice Beam, they don't like that. I think they also might just go Kecleon. I'm going to risk going Weavile. Is that Kecleon is so annoying. I'm going to risk Weavile. I do think you always go Kecleon here. I think that me going for an Ice Up attack is too much on you. Yep, they do switch. Let's see if they go Kecleon. They go Skuntank. Which is a good play too. But even if they have Flamethrower, I think I just throw off a Choice Band Icicle Crash. Like, they can't knock me out. Not with a Leftovers or a Black Sludge variant. Yeah. So I'm just going to go for the Choice Band Icicle Crash. Do as much damage as possible. Flamethrower won't knock me out. Crunch won't knock me out. And their ice switch-ins is basically Infernape with rocks up. So This is definitely my play. I wonder how much this even does. This is Choice Band, so I expect a lot of damage. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. They do end up defogging. However, however, I can just go right for another Icicle Crash. If they go Infernape, it takes damage. If they go for Sucker Punch, that's a good chip, but it should be alright. And I can get up Rocks again, I think, pretty safely on Tangrowth. So let's see if they go Infernape. I'm going with damage on, on that Pokemon too. They do go for the Icicle Crash there. I mean, they do, they do go Infernape. Oh my god, that is so much damage, dude. I for sure go Gliscor here. If they Flare Blitz... So this... I have the damage I need on Skun Tank. Now I need Rocks up again for Jolteon. I for sure go Gliscor here. I need Rocks up again for Jolteon. That way uh, I can... That way I can sweep with Shell Smash Blastoise. They go for Fire Blast. And they unfortunately miss, man. That is... That is huge. That is really big. That really sucks that they missed there. I'm gonna go for U-Turn. 
Keep on momentum. I don't know if they were Scarf or not. Uh, I have special defense EVs on this Gliscor, but I don't know if I was too AKO'd by that. But that, that Fire Blast miss sucked. That really did suck. I was okay with them being Flare Blitz, but... Yeah, I'm assuming you go Tangrowth here. Or Kecleon, okay. I'm good with Kecleon coming out. I need more chip on it anyway. Good, we got damage off on it. I'm assuming you fake me out. Ah, we go Eva. So I just go crash KOs. It basically picks up a KO here. They're gonna fake out and do a million damage. <laughs> And the reason I'm going for Icicle Crash over Brick Break is because I don't want to get the Aftermath from Skuntank. Well, maybe I should just go for Brick Break, but Crash is just so strong, man. It doesn't have any switchings. I need to KO this Pokemon. This mod's annoying. It switches in too much, too freely. This one is very, very scary for me to deal with. But again, we go for Crash again. If they go Inferno, it's going to take a lot. Uh, Tangrowth gets to a KO'd. Obviously, the Skun Tank dies, which is what I want because I want to get up rocks again. That, uh, that Infernip is a threat, man. So they do sack the Skun Tank. Nice, we hit. Can't say the same about my opponent, unfortunately. <laughs> Alright, so Skun Tank dies. Finally get rid of one Mon. I'm assuming Inferno comes back out. Oh, they go Aerodactyl, which is a good play. Good play, good play. I'm going to bring out my Empoleon because I'm Shooka Berry. And again, I want those Stealth Rock up. Stealth Rock also means that uh, Inferno dies to the next Icicle Crash, which is pretty crazy. But yeah, I want those Stealth Rock up. They end up going for Stone Edge. Does a lot. Going for Stealth Rock anyway. As I live in Earthquake as a Shooka Berry. And again, we want those. We want to make sure Rocks are up because that means that Infernit can never switch into Icewood Crash. Icewood Crash is guaranteed to a KO. They do go for Taunt. Okay, so they're most likely lead. I wasn't sure if they were lead arrow. So they probably have Focus Ash. We're just going to throw off a Scald now. In hindsight, Skull was fine too because I could have potentially uh, burnt, but technically on too. But yeah, they go for Earthquake here. So nice. I'm going to live that because of my Shooka. Nope, they crit me. <laughs> they crit me through. Oh, no, no, they have a nerve. They have unnerved. Duh. That's sick. Um, Okay, we'll go Gliscor here. We'll just U turn. I get a lot of momentum by going for U turn anyway. Gliscor is super strong versus them, especially with it. I wasn't paying attention to a nerve, so that was my bad. I thought it was pressure. Yeah, they go for Stealth Rock, which is fine. Get that U-turn off. We do end up breaking their Sash, which is exactly what I wanted. Mm. Okay, so this is a little bit tricky because I can easily go Heracross. I can go Heracross here and knock him out with close combat. I don't want to lose to that Kecleon in the end, man. I really don't. I think I have to go here. I think I have to go here. So CC is a guaranteed kill. Yeah, I'll go for CC. It doesn't matter if they go Tangrowth. This one's too much of a threat to predict. Yeah, this one's too much of a threat. I can default with Gliscor in front of that, so that's fine. And I already broke the Sash, which is what I wanted. But look at this guy back at full HP, man. Tangrowth is a threat. Tangrowth is a threat, bro. But again, my Gliscor is still extremely, extremely difficult for my opponent to deal with. Mmm... Plays obviously always to go glide score. Because then I can throw off a, a spec slash cannon, I think, versus Tangrowth 2. After U turning, of course. 
They go for knockoff. Ooh, little crit. That's okay. I wonder if Blastoise knocks out Jolteon at plus two with Surf. I really hope that's the case. Nope, 92 to one. <laughs> 92 to 109, awesome. <laughs> this is why we wanted rocks up for Jolteon. But yeah, we defog here. We don't want rocks up against us. 94 to 111, actually. It's way more in my favor. 62%. That's not bad. They go for Leech Seat. That's okay as well, because again, we got we got rid of rocks. And we're always going to go for U-Turn. So they have Knock Off, Leech Seed, Giga Drain. Maybe they have Earthquake? Maybe they have Earthquake? The great thing is I get my Poison Heal after as well, so... I'm still looking really good. Are we U-Turn here? And we are going to bring out Magnezone, which I think actually Magnezone ensures the damage on Jolteon that I need. Unless they Earthquake here, which is a fantastic play. But I believe... Oh, my damage can't go. I believe Magnezone ensures... Yeah, they just Giga Drain. Awesome. So this shit, this guarantees that I get damage off. Like, I'm good. This KOs Aerodactyl. This two it KOs Kecleon. This knocks out Tangrowth at that range too if it's physically defensive, which I think it is. Like it does like 97 min. So we just go for Spec Splash Cannon here. Again, if they go Jolteon, they can't really deal with me, and I two it KO it. Yep. I should two it KO maybe. Oh, did some beautiful damage. Magnezone to Jolteon. I have to watch out for Shadow Ball, but it's alright. That Shadow Ball does a lot, though. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Uh, they Volt Switch here. Uh -oh. That actually ended up being, I think, the wrong play there. I think they had to Shadow Ball, but they were obviously scared of my Weavile coming in. Yeah, because now I think I, I get a guaranteed kill on something. Kecleon gets 2 KO'd easily. Easily, easily. And I, like I said, I already got the damage I need on Jolteon to be able to knock them out with uh, Shell Smash Boosted Surf, so that's good. And I believe that is Specs. Oh, Aerodactyl dies for sure too. So good, we don't got to deal with rocks this game either. Perfect. There we go. There we go there. That mon's dead. Infernape comes out the demon. Don't really have a switch in, so I'm just gonna click Flash Cannon. <laughs> they should just click Fire Blast. I guess they could CC too, because I have a Blastoise. But this is nice too, because we got rid of the Megahorn switching. Like, this isn't really a Megahorn switching. Yeah, it's definitely not a Mega Horn switching. We do see Life Orb on Infernape too. I don't think they can knock out my Heracross with Mock Punch if they go for it. And I think that Mega Horn does enough to them to the point... Yeah, they do four times resist it, but I'm still going for Mega Horn here. I don't care. I think they're going to go Tangrowth. Exactly. So I'm going to go for Mega Horn to give me the most out of this play. And we managed to connect, which is great. There you go, baby. There you go, Heracross. Yo, Heracross Tango of the Wars, bro. Heracross Tango of the Wars. Let's go for another one. Because then we could potentially close combat sweep as well. If they go back out to Infernape, it's amazing for me too. They do make the Infernape play, which is what I wanted because this mod is a threat. And I managed to land too. You are underestimating the power of Heracross. Oh, and I get a crit. Oh, no. No. How much did that do to Infernape? It only did 21 to 25%. So, they lit... It got 2 KO'd, but I would have to risk it, you know? I think I go Gliscor here. On the fake out. And finally, let them kill me. Because if it's Scarf Jolteon, then it cannot KO Weavile at the percentage of that. 
Yeah, they do go for fake out. I'm just gonna go for earthquake because this mon is annoying. <laughs> Very. I'm gonna go for that earthquake right now. Oh my gosh, it does so much damage. And they double drain punch, anticipating me to U-turn out into Weavile. Ah, oh, it made sense. It made sense. I have been I have been U-turning a lot. I, it made sense. I have been U-turning a lot, so it made sense. Like that was not a bad play at all. But now I just became an insane threat. They tried to make a power play there. I don't know if U-turn KOs them after the uh after them getting the uh, the the different typing, so I'm just gonna go for Earthquake again. Yeah, if they go Tangled, so be it. Tangled annoying, bro. But now I keep my Glide score, which 100% beats Jolteon. Yeah, Tangled. This this 100% beats Jolteon, and this 100% beats their their. Uh, they're Mon too, so they're Kecleon. So look at, look at, and that's because the Fire Blast missed earlier too. I think I would have been able to Roost, but it was still pretty big. Just gonna make the Heracross play. They can't kill me with any move and it guarantees I get a kill if I land Megahorn. There we go. Yeah, it guarantees a kill if I get if I get the Mega Horn off. Oh no, not 58 seconds! Come on. Ain't nobody want no 58 seconds left in the battle. Come on. Ooh, just barely missed down the KO. They go for another Giga Drain. Little Heracross does die. Little Heracross does die, but I can safely bring out Blastoise, which I've been trying to sweep with this entire game. <laughs> Come on, animations. Why do you do turn? Why, why do you make the turns go? I can safely bring out Blastoise. And I can click Surf, and Surf will pick up a KO. Modest Surf picks up a KO. Uh, even if they go Jolteon, I'm good too. This knocks out Kecleon, and I think it knocks out Jolteon as well, actually. So, yeah. I think uh, it'll be close to a KO on Jolteon. Me trying, and that's at 1 HP. Me trying to do a battle. And ending because of timer. We both had, uh, what was it, three Pokemon left? But yeah, from that position, because of the, uh, because of the, the... Well, because of the crit on Infernape, I didn't have to risk going for two Megahorns. That was a great game, though. GG, man. A wild game. Timer sucks. The timer straight up sucks. But yeah, because of the miss on Infernape, I didn't have to risk going for uh, for two um, for two Megahorns versus it, which can make a difference. Mock Punch would not have knocked out Heracross at that range. And if it did go for Mock Punch, obviously, a Life Orb might even take it out. Um, but... That Kecleon ended up being... Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. That Fire Blast Mist sucked, too. I, it would not have KO'd me, but it would have done a lot of damage, and I would have been forced to, like, roost in the position. I feel like... I feel like Gliscor can technically roost... Gliscor can roost on Tangrowth, even though it takes super effective damage, because it's just a demon. Like, they don't, they don't even heal that much. But uh, it was still crazy. Like, obviously, it definitely mattered. That Kecleon definitely scared the hell out of me. For sure, I wanted rocks in there. Also, I made a mistake versus uh, Aerodactyl. Didn't realize it was a nerve. I always assume pressure, but a nerve is a fantastic what leads to. Especially because you don't need pressure to like see. The reason you'd have pressure in like Generation Eight, for instance, is because if your opponent has like Tapu Lele, um, and they they get their terrain, and then your pressure activates, you know that they are um, Choice Scarf, right? But you don't need it in this. But that was a great game. Please check out. Champion Brandon, down below. The link will be down below. I hope y'all enjoyed. Heracross, for sure, put in some... In I love that the blue Pokemon put in a lot of work. Like, the blue Pokemon went crazy. Heracross and Tangro. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Leave a like.